How's it going, everyone? I have some exciting news if you're a Scrapebox user. Um, as of a couple of days ago, my favorite proxy server is now offering Scrapebox integration, as you can see right here. Scraper API is now offering Scrapebox integration. Now, this is huge because anyone who's used other proxy providers in the past with Scrapebox knows that it's very difficult to find ones that actually work well with uh, Scrapebox. And it became such a hassle that I ended up writing my own scripts to scrape websites um, that utilize Scraper API. Like I already mentioned, this is a game changer by Scraper API because now I can just use their API with Scrapebox. So if you go to scraperapi.com slash Scrapebox, they actually have a full documentation of how to set it up available at scraperapi.com slash Scrapebox. I'll leave this link in the description. But just sign up for Scraper API and once you have your API key, you would just copy this into Scrapebox. And again, the documentation shows you exactly how to do it. Uh, my affiliate link for Scraper API is in the, in the description as well. So if you could use that, I'd, I'd appreciate it a lot. Um, anyways, just to show you the power of it, I'm gonna run a couple tests for you. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape Instagram. So we're gonna put in the harvester site instagram.com and we're going to look for these different queries in text gmail.com and the word football and then it's all the same just football baseball basketball hockey super basic stuff nothing crazy uh, within your scrape box scrape box instance make sure that use proxies is checked and the thing that i was having issues with and maybe some of you have as well if um, google is having issues make sure to check this so go to settings, harvester engine configuration, click Google, and make sure these two are correct. Um, because on mine, they had a little bit of a, a mistake in them and then it wouldn't work, wouldn't do anything. So just double check this, that this is correct. Make sure it says exactly what mine does in these two boxes and you should be fine. So after we verify that that's correct and we have our proxy installed, all we have to do is click start harvesting. Make sure Google's checked. Make sure right here it says harvester status proxy is enabled. And click start. And you're gonna see it start to work. I'll cut, cut all of this out of the video, but eventually you're gonna see that we get results. And let's just see how long it takes. All right, it's finished. And we can see that we have you know, over a thousand results in the URLs. And from here, close all these out. You can go to grab check and then get emails by crawling sites. So we're just gonna look at th this list and then get the emails from them. Actually, before you do that, make sure you go to remove filter then remove duplicate URLs. Don't do duplicate domains because you'll remove everything because they're all Instagram.com. So remove duplicate URLs and then go grab check, grab emails by crawling sites. And then from here, we don't want to go any deeper than the page we scraped, so we change this to one. We're using the harvester URLs. And what else? Let's see. Uh, no, we don't need a delay because we're using the API that takes care of all that for us. And we just click start. We're going to see we start processing emails. And it's all finished. Uh, we started with 1,046 URLs and we ended up with 1,074 emails. We click this button right here to open up the file. And you can see right here, there we go. There's all of our emails. Saved along with the URL where we, where we got it from. It's that easy to get some emails. Now uh, let's say we wanted to scrape, oh, well, that's Instagram. That's how you do Instagram. Let's say we want to do Facebook. So site facebook.com, we'll do the same work. We'll do two of them, so it doesn't take so long, but you guys get the idea. Um, and actually, while I'm thinking about this, because I forgot to mention this, based on the plan that you purchased from Scraper API, um, you get a, a set amount of concurrent connections, which means um, that's how many threads you can use when you're scraping. The more threads you can use, the faster it's gonna go. So go to settings, connection timeout, and then for the email grabber and the harvester, these are the two parts of Scrapebox we're utilizing. Make sure these line up with how many concurrent uh, connections you have. If you put 
well, if you put it over how many you have within Scrape API, then Scrape Box is just going to air out and you're not going to get anything. So make sure these line up with your Scrape API concurrent connections. So with that said, we're going to clear this out, this list, and we're going to start harvesting Facebook for these two queries right here. I'm sorry, harvesting Google. Excuse me. And then I'll come back to this when it's done. All right, it finished. It took about you know three minutes or so, and we have about uh, a little over 600 emails, 620 to be exact. So we'll exit out of this, close this, and the same process again. We're going to remove the duplicates. So remove filter, remove duplicate URLs, and then we're going to do a grab check, grab emails by crawling sites, and just click start. And let's see how many emails we get. So while this is going, you can see we're nearing the halfway point of scraping the Facebook pages for emails. Um, I'm not advocating this form of scraping right here uh, in the sense that you shouldn't be running queries out of this general. This is not going to return you any, any really useful information. When you build your queries, you want to make sure they're, they're targeted to who you're trying to target. These right here are just tests. I, I don't want to do anything crazy. Just want to show you how this works. Scrape API along with, with uh, Scrape Box. So don't use these queries exactly thinking you're going to get any kind of relevant information for your marketing or advertising. This is not the way to do it. Um, in the future, I'll make a video on how to set up queries to so you can actually get the kind of useful information that you need. So let's look at this. This is almost done. I'm finishing up. Yes. And now we have 760 emails. Again, probably not very useful emails because they're, they're just way too broad, but I'm just showing you proof of concept kind of stuff. And you can see right here, these are all the emails that we just pulled. 760 of them. So let's close this out and let's do the last one, twitter.com. And we'll just, this time we'll just do baseball. Uh, let's clear this out, get rid of that one, start harvesting, and start. And again, I'll come back when it's done. And that query finished, it took about you know, a little over a minute or so. We're just gonna back out of this, close. We're gonna, again, remove the duplicate URLs. So we're at 299. Remove one. Now we're going to grab the emails. So grab check. Grab emails by crawling sites. And start. Let's see how long this takes. I'm honestly not sure why that didn't work, but you know what? It gives me a chance to research this and uh, make another video about Twitter in the future. But anyway, as far as this video, I'm just going to wrap this up. And I hope you can see that Scraper API is actually very powerful in use with scrape box because you know it does what most regular proxies uh, don't do within scrape box and that's actually good results when you scrape google so again i'll leave a link for scrape api in the description it will be my affiliate link and i'd really appreciate it if you did use it uh, if, you had, if you found any value in this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe or if you already are a subscriber thank you again anyways have a good one and stay safe